A show that tackles the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on GTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. Tisley Cross Cider. Tisley Cross Cider. Deliciously smooth. Today, July 20, 2022, is celebrated worldwide as International Chess Day. And on this day, the BVI Chess Federation pops up at the BVI Taurus Board for a demonstration game by two youths who are part of a team heading to India to represent the territory at the 2022 Chess Olympiad. The backstory and more in this feature Big Story presentation. We are excited to do this demonstration here uh, with the BVI Tourist Board. We're very thankful for the support of the board. Uh, the BVI Tourist Board has been supporting the Chess Federation for quite some time. Um, usually at the Olympiad, um, which is where we're headed to in Chennai, India, the players would exchange uh, gifts before a match. And so we've always kind of depended on the BVI Tourist Board to assist us in that area. And they have continuously and generously um, have always done. So thank you all very much. I'm going to just introduce the members of the team here. Uh, we have apologies from Mr. Maurice Letsom, who is the actual president of the BVI Chess Federation. Uh, we have the vice president, Mr. Simon Potter. Um, we have Art Christopher, who is going to be board one at the Chennai um, Olympiad. And we also have um, Miss Mia Berth. Um, she is the youngest member of the team at 12 years old. She is the youngest member, period, on our national team. On his way is Mr. Uh, Leo Stout Hewlett. Uh, both Mia and Leo are actually from the Elmer Stout High School. Um, so this Olympiad is actually a pretty big deal for us to have these young persons uh, traveling to Chennai. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first time that um, the age <laughs> Um, perhaps it's a bit, um, it's, it's so young. So we're really grateful um, to, to have them there. We also have Mr. John Samuel, um, who you guys might know of. Um, he started his travels and he will. We heard about us. him. <laughs> you heard about him. Before, yeah. he'll, he'll meet us along the way. Um, we also have um, Miss Corrine Coffee Jewels. She is the advisor for the Elmer Stout Chess Club. So she will also be traveling with the team to chaperone uh, the two youngsters. And we also have a trainer that has been working really hard um, with the national team. His name is Christensen uh, Sava. He's actually from Romania. And so they've been doing a lot of like online training. And so he's going to be the actual trainer and coach uh, in Chennai. And I think I would say for me, the first time that I went to an Olympiad was in Torino, Italy in 2006. I was completely shocked. <laughs> Um, but this is a very important uh, game to a large set of people around the world. And the level of training, the level of support um, that they get is just absolutely amazing. And so with the BVI Chess Federation, we are really looking to look at the future of chess in the BVI. And we definitely see Mia and Leo as part of that um, future of chess. And we really want to start to, to groom them. I'm going to let Mr. Simon Potter just kind of give you a very, very brief history of chess in the BVI. Okay, good morning. Thank you very much, Saskia. Good morning. Yeah, um, I myself have been involved in chess since high school. And um, I know the first chess Olympiad, I'm not sure where the, the chess federation was formed to be exact, but I know the first chess Olympiad we attended 
was in 1976 in Haifa, Haifa, Israel, the time I graduated. And then the next one was in 1978. I was going off to school, so I didn't attend it. After I got back in 1982, I attended my first chess Olympiad in 1984. That was in Greece. And at the time, Greece had a great idea of having the Olympiad every two years because they said they had a the home of the Olympics and they wanted to do it every two years. And I went to Thessaloniki, Greece in 1984 and attended the Olympiad. And it was good, it was nice in the nice setting. And this is what I do every other year, every other Olympiad. We do Olympiads every two years. And the, other, the next one was in Dubai, which Dubai really pulled quite a lot to accommodate the Olympiad because they were just trying to get into tourism. And we're doing as much as possible to help tourism. And they, they sent us tickets. We had to fly Dubai business class to attend the Olympia. We just sent us the tickets. And, they, and we were probably the first people to ever get visa on the airport in Dubai, even though we arrived in Dubai at 2 o'clock in the morning. Right. Mm. And they give now visas right there and then in a couple of minutes process. And this was true. We all stayed in first class accommodations, wow. very nice accommodations. We had a, the sheikh who did a number of camel races and different <laughs> activities for us. It was really a splendid Olympiad. Then we go back, after that, back to Greece. And by that time, Thessaloniki has grown significantly. It was congested, it had traffic problems. And Greece realized after Dubai, they can't maintain this. So they dropped the idea of every other Olympiad back to Dubai. So ever since then, it's going different countries throughout the world. And we have been taking part on and off, depends on the circumstances, on a number of the Olympiads. But to promote chess and the BVI, we have started doing, um, going to schools. We had a, um, I started a, a long Wang and other people at and so forth, doing some training at the um, St. George's School. We were doing every Friday evening, St. George, we had um, a chess club in St. George's School. And we, that went on for quite a while. We had some good students in St. George's School up until COVID. After COVID, that subsided and we, Still hope to get it restarted when things get back to normal. And during that time in October last year, we had Nigel Short, who is a former US chess champion. He's a vice president of FIDA. He paid us a visit. And on his visit, we visited um, the junior school and the senior school. Kathy did some recording for us at the senior school in October. And we met at the junior school. And we met um, these young people that, and we, Start and then subsequently they started a well in the process start a chess club because I think in the high school chess is you no know, well they have different activities as part of the curriculum and chess is one of the activities that you could take part in and it's a very good following very good interest in chess in the high school which we are glad to see but the thing is unfortunately there was not much chess player teachers who would play chess so I tell no problem whenever they have a chess class call me I'll just come by and help along with the chess. And the good thing that they have nice smart boards and on the smart boards you can do all these nice demonstrations on the smart boards and, and so forth. So with that, we, we um, think. So once we are going to decide to go to the Olympiad, we decided um, it'd be a great idea to take some young people along. And, and they were very enthused and their parents were, and we said, oh, great, let's go along. So we had them going along with us. But the BVI Chess Federation, uh, as Askim had mentioned so a few people earlier, that we end up rebuilding stage with a hurricane and COVID, everything gets some setbacks and we rebuild him. And we have lost a number of members, people like Henry Pickering, as we mentioned, Elton Georges, Kenneth Christopher, um, to natural pastor. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're keeping it alive and the interest is good. And we want to get the young people in focus, which is happening. We're happy for that. So we're glad what the tourist board is doing, has been doing. I know on many occasions I was traveling, I go to the tourist board and get a number of things, like Saskia said. And it's always good because most countries, when, before you play a game, you greet your members by giving a little token from your country, which comes in pretty handy and help spread the word and help put the BVI on the map, is what we do to a large extent. Uh, a lot of people in the BVI might not know a lot of what we do and so forth, but in the world, out there, people follow chess, know the BVI. And we have been to quite a number. I personally meet about eight Olympiads, and um, it's quite a few. I'm not going to this one this time, but I'll be back on board. So let's think about pretty much a normal. Thank you. Again, thank you. Thank you, Simon. I'm going to invite Art um, to just elaborate just a little bit uh, in terms of what Simon said. Since we're here at the BVI Tourist Board, just about um, tourism and the opportunity um, that we've seen other countries uh, experience with chess. I've been a part of the, the chess Olympiad, and this is the Olympics of chess. So the Olympiad is part of the, the, the Olympics movement. 
So you're seeing players from all over the world. You're seeing the best of the best. And people are competing at that level. And so um, just in terms of us having uh, different tournaments in the region and the possibility of having a tournament here locally, uh, we're looking at that as an opportunity to obviously to help promote chess in the Virgin Islands also, but help to what we call it chess tourism. And so we're I hoping that the... Uh, so we're hoping that um, the BVI Tourist Board would, would obviously be on board with us with that with the, those initiatives. Um, I just mentioned one thing, um, just as an example, just to kind of share with you all, um, in terms of how I guess big the opportunity is in terms of tourism. Um, that what's actually on the schedule of the Olympiad, apart from the actual rounds and apart from the actual games is an event that everybody looks forward to, and it's called the Bermuda Party. So the Bermuda team, the Bermuda Tur Tourism um, Board, what they do is wherever the Olympiad is announced next, they actually go travel, <coughs> scout locations, and um, what's not. And this event is, you will see Magnus Carlsen wasted right next to whomever and so on, the biggest names in chess. So everyone really goes, everyone really looks forward to that um, event, and it's really a mixture of all players from all levels um, but the Bermuda Tourist Board has taken that um, on seriously significantly and so they are actually a part of the lineup of the actual uh, Olympiad so they are significant um, opportunities and then when we go to Chennai as well what you will see is other federations marketing tournaments and marketing openings to invite persons to come to their islands to come to their territories um, for that specific tournament um, uh, there's a little story a little history about the Bermuda party which kind of sort of used to be the Virgin Islands party between the US and the BVI, and they've kind of uh, taken it over. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but we're just looking to see how, getting back to the Olympiad, how we make sure uh, to remind persons of the history of uh, BVI chess, and to make sure uh, that BVI move forward um, with chess, and of course, uh, the future of chess. And this is Mr. Leo um, Hewlett, and um, this is Ms. Corinne Coffee Jewels, their advisor, and she's going to be uh, chaperoning. And finally, I just want to, um, on behalf of the Federation, Mr. Dawson, we just have a, a little quick little. <laughs> We're in the process of really, um, really rebranding and really looking at what chess means to the Virgin Islands. Uh, so we've actually redid our entire logo and all of that, looking at what. Um, we want chess to be in the territory. And so we've rebranded it and we've actually included a BVI sloop in the logo. Oh, okay. um, and we wanted something to kind of really represent that we are the Virgin Islands. Chess is a very European sport um, at times, but there's a lot that's happening within the region and within Africa to make sure that there's a little bit more color uh, in chess. So we wanted our logo to really represent who we are in the Virgin Islands. So it includes the uh, BVI sloop and it includes the knight that is looking over and protecting our waters. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for reaching out and um, I, think we, I believe we will continue to support the Chess Federation and we, we are excited to hear about the possibilities for some events taking place here in the future. So. Thanks again for coming and uh, having this wonderful demonstration. Thank you. I want to thank you for joining us for this edition of The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards.